Today we're playing Waiting for Daylight by default studio name. Title screen is pretty boring, but I'm sure this is a beta, so I won't judge it based on that. Johnny, help. What do you need help from? Whoa, was that a lightning bolt? Am I Johnny? Okay, looks like I'm playing. Oh, fade out. Now I'm playing. Right-click to turn off or on the flashlight. Use the cursor to aim. Okay. And I see I have a battery in the corner, and I have hearts. Waz to move? What are these little glowy things? I guess they're just markers or lights. So I guess I need to get to my friends. Ooh, the lightning actually helps me. Oh, something's coming. What is it? Oh, okay, the light kills it. It was some kind of bat. Oh, I see you. Okay. So the art style is pretty good. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for pixel art. Although, it does have that thing that bothers me where... Um, the pixels are not all the same size. Uh, I like the pixels to all be the same size. Left click to pick up a sun piece. Okay, that was a good thing. I'm guessing I need to find all of the sun pieces. Uh, the lighting is very good. It gives it a real sense of being in a dark forest. And the the ambience, the rain sound, and the thunder is also very good. Made it to my friends. Oh my god, you found the sun piece? Question mark. Yes, this might work. Who's talking? Uh, mouse click. Okay. Do you think you could go look for a few more? Question mark. If we get enough, we might finally be able to bring the light back. And if you need health or your flashlight battery is running low, please come back here to recharge. Beware the creatures that lurks in the shadow. I think it's a typo. Lurk in the shadow. Your flashlight will be no help against him. Okay, so there's an enemy that I cannot defeat. That was a nice little cutscene. Okay, so I'm off to find the sun pieces. Uh, I noticed I could turn my flashlight on and off. Is there an advantage to turning it off? I've never turned it off this far. Okay, there's something coming. How do I know? How can I tell the difference on if it's a, something I can kill with my flashlight or if it's something that lurks in the dark that I... Why is everything shaking? Um, or if it's something, the thing that lurks in the dark that I can't kill. This screen shake is out of control. Is there like an earthquake happening right now? So it seems like my goal is to navigate this forest maze and find the sun piece while also staying alive. Um, so I mentioned the graphics. Um, the gameplay is pretty good. It it does its job well. Um, I like the, the oh, there's another one. I like the mechanic of shining the light at the enemies to kill him. Oh, is this the bad guy? These are the bad guys that look in the dark. Okay. So, I don't know. I can't run. Okay, it looks like they ran away after they dealt damage. Which is nice. 
that they ran away. Um, okay, so I think you've done a good job of like tutorializing your game, and I think the mechanics are pretty solid. Um, I just there's a couple of issues I have. Um, the first and foremost is this: it seems like it's a Slenderman clone. Um, you just you're wandering in the dark forest with a flashlight, and you finding pieces. Um, I mean, we've we've seen a lot of games like this before. Um, I know it's a little different because you can use your flashlight as sort of a, a weapon. And that is nice because it does set it apart a little bit. And then the other thing is that I'm, I'm just not really scared. Um, I don't know what it is. It might be there's not enough ambience. Uh, it might be that the pixel art is a little too cheery. Um, I can't put my finger on it, but I'm just, I'm, I don't really have, I'm not really scared of this. Um, but I'm sure with some polish, you could make it scary. So it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, definitely the gameplay and the mechanics are very good. So well done on that. Um, I would just, I might make a little bit of an effort to make it stand out from the other Slenderman clones. Uh, I'm probably going to die after I pick this up because those dog things are going to attack me, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I could push them back with my light. Okay, that's cool. Um, but I have to get out of here without them killing me. Um, uh, one thing is consistency is will kill horror. Um, if those dogs appear every time I pick up a sun piece, you're you're training me that that's a consistent thing that happens, and it's not scary. You need you need sort of the surprise. Um, but yeah, it. it I wouldn't, it definitely is, these things can be fixed. Um, so it's a nice game. I, I look forward to seeing how it improves.